Clause number 55908, James W. Richards, the fourth. It's a compulsory matter. Yes. Again, this is Beth Stevens on behalf of the Commission for Lawyer Discipline. This is a compulsory discipline case based on the respondent's court martial for charge one, violation, violation of the UCMJ Article 134, specification one, child pornography, and specif specification seven through 11, sexual abuse of a child. The petition for compulsory discipline was filed with BOTA on March 12th of 2015. The respondent was personally served with a petition for compulsory discipline and notice of this hearing by John Knight, a Leavenworth County Sheriff Deputy on March 19th, 2015. Proof of service has been on file since April 2nd of 2015. On or about June 28th of 2012, the respondent was charged by a charge sheet with the following. Charge one, violation of the UCMJ Article 134, specifications one through six, child pornography, specifications seven through 11, sexual abuse of a child. Charge two, viol violation of the UCMJ Article 92, specifications one through four, failure to obey an order. Charge three, violation of the UCMJ Article 133, conduct unbecoming an officer and gentleman and an additional charge, violation of the UCMJ Article 134, child pornography. On or about December 18th of 2012, the charge sheet was amended to dismiss the following charges. Charge one, specifications two through six, charge three, and the additional charge. On or about April 26th of 2013, a general court martial order was entered in cause number 38346 in the Department of the Air Force Headquarters, Air Education and Training Command, Joint Base, San Antonio, Randolph, Texas. Seven, eight, oh, that's, never mind. Wherein respondent was found guilty of charge one, violation of the UCMJ, Article 134, specification one, child pornography, specification seven through 11, sexual abuse of a child, and charge two, violation of the UCMJ, Article 92, specifications one through four, failure to obey, a, an order. The respondent was committed to the custody of the Air Force Correction System for a term of 17 years confinement, forfeiture of all pay and allowances, and dismissal from the service. This time I offer petitioners one through three. Exhibit one is a certified copy of the charge sheet, the amended charge sheet, and the general court martial order. Exhibit number two is my own affidavit attesting to the fact that the respondent is the same person as the person identified as the defendant in the court martial. And exhibit number three is the original certificate from Blake A. Hawthorne, clerk of the Supreme Court of Texas, dated April 8th of 2015, which, which indicates that the respondent is licensed but is not currently authorized to practice law in Texas. Exhibits one through three will be admitted. Yeah, ma'am. And I think it's clear from our petition, but just to clarify, we're, we're seeking compulsory uh, discipline based on the child pornography and the sexual abuse of a child, not the uh, failure to obey an order. Right, I understood that. And um, so we seek an, he has appealed his convictions, and so we seek an interlocutory order of suspension. Okay. Any questions from any uh, board members? Thank you very much, Ms. Stevens. What, um, we'll 